Okay, welcome back. This is the second video for the week. Um, and if you're watching it before the first video, that should be right next to it on the video page. Uh, it's probably best to watch the first video first. That one, I'm a little bit slower and more deliberate. This one, we're going to move a little bit faster. Okay? So if you want to step, if you want a little more uh, help, the first video is better for that. If you want to move a little faster, the second video is is better for that. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Does this picture have rotational symmetry? Keep in mind, rotational symmetry is if you turn it uh, a certain way, it still has uh, the symmetry. Now you can turn it completely upside down, and that would still have symmetry. It would. It, you would draw a line down the middle, and both sides would have the same thing. And you can leave it as it was, but there's one thing that this doesn't have that other shapes do have, and that's if you give it a quarter turn, like that, not a, not not all the way upside down, and not the way it was, but a quarter like like that, a little quarter turn like that. Does it have symmetry then? Like if you go if you go down the middle, down the middle. No. We did a quarter turn, and it doesn't have the same symmetry anymore. Because look, look, on this side, there's like, I don't know, I guess the screen. And this side, there's the buttons and the legs. And there's no, it's not the same on both sides. So, that does not have rotational symmetry. Sorry, it, it, it just doesn't. Basically, what you're looking for in your shapes with rotational symmetry is there's one way to eyeball it, and you're, you're looking for some kind of circular nature up to it. Some kind of circular nature. It doesn't have to be a circle, but kind of, so that when you rotate it, you know, upside down, on its side, whatever, it still kind of looks the same. And this one, the shape would not, sorry. Is this angle acute, right, obtuse, or straight? Think about it. We have four options. In the first video, I go over all four options. This time, I'm not going to. So which is this? Acute! It's an acute angle. Because it's a smaller mouth to angle. It's not like this. That's a different one. That's right. And the other two angles are, are, are way different too. But for acute, just know that it's smaller, has a smaller mouth than a right angle. Smaller mouth, right angle. Smaller mouth than a right angle. Acute. Hooray, let's move on. Oops, went backwards. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Here's a little riddle for you. Which figure will this net make? Well, a net is a 3D shape that's all un folded. So, you look at this and you ask yourself, this is a 3D shape, but it's unfolded. If I fold it on those dotted lines and put all the pieces together, so to speak, what shape would it make? A triangular prism, a hexagonal prism, a square pyramid, or a triangular pyramid? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's definitely not going to make a triangular prism. Definitely not. Because if it did, then this base right here would not be a square. It'd be a rectangle. There'd be lots of other stuff going on too. It's definitely not a hexagonal prism. That's the worst answer probably because there's no hexagon in there. Square pyramid, uh-oh, we do see a square, and these triangles, if folded, would make a pyramid of some kind. And triangular pyramid, well, I do see triangles, too. And I wonder, oh boy, what kind of figure would this make? I, I, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not. This is your chance to look it up first. 
and find out before I even say it in class. Don't worry, I, I will say it in class. But I'm not going to tell you the answer. Try to find it on your own. What makes more sense? Is this a square pyramid or a triangular pyramid? Don't get mad at me. I already narrowed it down. I took down two of them, okay? All you got to do is a little research on your own and figure out between these two. And if you don't, fine. I'll tell you in class. Fine. You lazy. Moving on. Essential words first. All right, sorry. Is a dotted line a line of symmetry? Recall that symmetry is a line that cuts through the middle and both sides are still the same. Well, since I just made a line through the middle and it's not exactly what this line is, I think you can say that the dotted line, this right here, is not a line of symmetry. However, this shape could have one, right? Look at it. It's a good shape for symmetry. That dotted line is just stupid. So even though the answer is no, that's an ugly no. Jeez, this pen is weird right now. Sorry. Even though the answer is no, you can still like see that like, oh, if only there was a line right there. Ignore the black dotted line. Uh, that red line is indeed a line of symmetry. Oops. There we go. If only there was a line right there. And um, let me group this together real quick. Cool. Um, and you can also tell me something else about this. Does this shape off the red line, off the red line, does it have rotational symmetry? If I rotate it like this and drew a line, would it still have that symmetry? Yes. If I rotate it like this and drew a line, would it still have that symmetry? Yes. If I rotate it like this, whoa, 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 I was slipping all over the place, and drew a line, would it still have that symmetry? Yes. I rotated upside down to the left, to the right, and it always still had that symmetry. So you know what that tells me? I'll tell you what it tells me. The red line that we made, not only would the red line be a line of symmetry, but this shape, this purple flower thing, since we rotated it all around and we could keep saying yes to symmetry, it has rotational symmetry too. Unfortunately though, this dot, this dotted line right here, useless. <gasps> Is dotted line a line of symmetry? No, it's not. Alright, there's three steps to getting this right. I'll try to go through a little faster since you've watched it once before. One, two, three steps. Hooray! Step one, what kind of angle do these two lines with the arrows make? Well, it's bigger than a right angle because a right angle would only be a perfect L and would only go up to that 90. Uh, an acute angle is usually a small mouth. But if you could imagine this as like some kind of weird crocodile, like, oh, I'm a crocodile. Rawr. I'm a crocodile. I how do you do? My name is Frank the Crocodile. Blah, blah, blah. If you can imagine that as a crocodile, you would see that that's a big, wide open mouth. Like his mouth is like open to the sky. Like he wants to eat something that's going to fall out of the clouds or something. That is not a small mouth. That's a big mouth. So you know what that means? That means the angle is the big one, the one that sounds like obese. Obtuse. Yeah, obtuse. Sorry if that's a little bit sloppy. Writing with this pen is kind of hard sometimes. Now, are obtuse the big ones or the small ones? They are the big ones. Acute is the small ones. Remember? Acute small. Obtuse big. All right. And the third one is actually following the line. So, you start on the bottom, on the floor line. And you got to make sure that it's lined up with zero. And it is, it is. And you follow, 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 and then you go up the other line, and where does it take us? It takes us between 100 and 80, ooh, man, there's all, there's two numbers to look at. Do we look at the big ones or the small ones for this angle? Well, we said it was obtuse and that it was big, 
So we look at the big one. So ignore 80 and ignore 70. But look at 100 and 110. This line is between them. Going to have to count these lines. You see these little markers between the numbers? Like it's between 70 and 80. It's between 60 and 70. That's for uh, the fives. That's like 75. And that's like 65. Okay, so anyway, this marker right here between 100 and 110 would be 105. But see how the arrows just like one little, see all these lines? They all count for one. So this thing is one over. So it's not 105. It's one over on its way to 110. It's getting, it's actually 106. Hey, if you saw that on your own before I even said it, good for you. Good for you. If, it, if you need a little help looking at it, that's cool. But just remember, first, we figured out if it was obtuse or acute or whatever this angle was. Second, we decided that means big or small. Uh, it meant big. Third, we looked at the line. We looked at this angle. And we saw that it was between 100 and 110. And it wasn't quite on the little 5 marker. It was a little bit to the right which means it was a little bit bigger towards 110. So not 105, but one more, 106. Ah, be careful, be careful with these. You have to have a sharp eye. And it's easy to make a small mistake sometimes. So you gotta really be paying attention. Here's your pop guide. Does this picture have a rotational symmetry? This one right here. Does this one? Is that a line? A line of symmetry. That dotted line is it a line of symmetry? This dotted line is it a line of symmetry? Is this angle acute, right, obtuse, or straight? You tell me. There are four angles here. They're all different. Which one's acute? Which one's right? Which one's obtuse? And which one's straight? A riddle, kind of, that describes one of these shapes. You tell me which shape it's describing. And on your own, what is the measurement of this angle? Remember the three steps, okay? Remember the three steps. All right, guys, that's your pop guy. There you go. Take one more look at it. Do, 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 do. And uh, I'll see you in class, and we'll discuss, uh, we'll discuss more later if you need help. Bye. Oh, wow, this video is longer than the first one. It's supposed to be shorter. I talked too